Yo, what is up boys and girls, ladies and gentle frogs, welcome back to my channel, my name is James and today I'm going to be teaching you how to put colourful LED wings onto any photography that you want. I've been doing it on rappers recently, so it all started off with me drawing some fairy wings on Drake's back, don't ask me why, and I sat back and looked at this piece of art, and it is a piece of art alright, and just laughed solidly for about 5 minutes. I then thought maybe this idea would look better on a less light skinned music artist. After playing around with some different wing styles, I came up with this Travis Scott design and I kind of vibe with it to be honest. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I put glowing LED wings onto these rappers backs. And then I'm going to also teach you how I use filter effects and textures to complete the design. So if you're not that interested in the wings, then you might still find value in this video because recently a lot of you guys have been commenting on my Instagram post asking me how I've been stylizing the photography that's up on there recently. So this is kind of going to be merging a few techniques into one video. On my website, you can also download my wing pack which is going to be containing all of the stylized wings that i've already made and then you can literally just drag them and put them into your own files and duplicate and flip the wings around and you have it done just like that so if you are interested in that then head over to griffingfx.com otherwise let's continue with the tutorial let's open up photoshop and let's begin Okay guys, so I've just opened up a new canvas, it's 1920 by 1080 but really make it whatever size you want. Step 1 is to go onto the interwebs and to pick an image of the person who you're going to be putting wings on or just drag an image in of yourself if you're going to be doing it for yourself. I'm going to use this image of Gunner right here that I did the collage art on recently, okay? So the second thing that you want to do is basically cut the background out. I'm going to use the pen tool for this, so you just want to start clicking around like this. I'm not going to try and make it too perfect, you know, I'm not zooming right in and doing every little little bit perfectly you can if you want but i'm not too bad with the pen tool so this should be fine if you struggle with the pen tool remember that you can control what it does you know it's not all random if you click you can then hold alt and left click and drag it around to kind of change the curve and then if you don't like it you can go back and change it afterwards like that the pen tool does take a little bit of getting used to but once you've got used to it it's actually such a good tool I'm going to go around this bit and do this afterwards because the magic wand will do most of this work for us. Okay, I'm going to make my canvas a little bit bigger in case the wings are really huge. I don't know what wings I'm going to make yet. So that's what we need to decide on. What wings are we going to create? Now, if you're a really creative human, then just open up a sketch pad and just start sketching loads of wings. Um, if you need some help, go online and just type in anything. So I've just typed in demon wings and I found some wings like this. And I think these are really cool. So I'm going to have a go at turning these into LED wings. Shout out Shutterstock for um, this lovely free image. <laughs> I'm very sorry, guys. Don't report me, okay? If you guys actually report me to Shutterstock, I will stop making videos and you're going to have no more Griffin GFX. All right, so we're chucking that there and then we are lowering this down like that. You want to get it to kind of where you'd imagine it looks cool. I think that looks pretty cool. And now because of the way his back is angled, I'm thinking this side here is going to be a little bit wider. So I'm just holding Control Shift and Alt and I'm just lifting this up slightly. So now it's time to start with the pen tool process. So I'm going to minimize Gunner. I'm going to go on the layer above. And then using the pen tool, I'm going to do some line art to determine which parts are going to be glowing. So for example, we obviously want where these bones are. These bones are going to be the bits that are glowing. It's going to look something like this. I quite like the little spike bit that's here. I'm going to incorporate that just by going like that. And then we're going to fill this selection in with the paint bucket tool. And that is what we have right there. So now we're gonna also do these parts here. Now we might wanna add this wing back in with some kind of an aesthetic afterwards, but first I'm gonna make this thing glow. So we're gonna make the background black and that is because the wings are glowing. So you need to be able to see them. I'm thinking of going green because I haven't done any green wings yet. So color overlay let's make that green i'm gonna bring gunner back and i'm gonna put him on top so we can start to see what we're actually doing here now i'm gonna duplicate this wing edit transform and flip horizontal and put it over here in the same position as this one like that so now we can work on stylizing the wing a little bit but first i'm actually going to smooth up this line here because i i've kind of done it really badly 
cool. So now this next bit is a little bit of trial and error, you know, every single wing that I've made so far, it's been a different process to get to the outcome. There's no one way of creating these wings. Um, but something that I like to do is to use the motion blur tool. So if we select this wing, control J to duplicate, filter, blur, and then go for the motion blur, and then just pick a direction that seems fitting. I'm going this direction here. You can see if I, if I expand it, that's the kind of direction it's going in. Uh, we don't want it to be a crazy expansion, but just enough so there's a kind of a glow outside of the wing like that. I'm gonna move that layer underneath the other layer and I'm gonna duplicate it just one more time. And now I'm gonna go to the top layer, rasterize it so that we can apply a clipping mask. So I'm applying a clipping mask to the top layer so that when we draw over it, you can see what's happening. I'm gonna make a big brush and I'm gonna turn the hardness down to zero. And I'm just gonna start adding some lighting effects like this. So it looks like the wings are kind of shining. And now I'm also gonna add a clipping mask to the blurred green layer underneath and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put some white brush strokes onto the green. Now what I think we need to do is draw the wing skin back in. Um, but I'm gonna do this with a very dark green. And now instead of filling it all in like this, I'm actually just gonna click in a few different places so that we have it fading back to the darkness. I think that looks pretty fly. I'm now gonna do a little bit of erasing some of these blurs where I don't think it looks that great. So like up here, it's a little bit too much. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge um, this white part and the whole wing layer together. And I'm gonna duplicate. And I'm just gonna add a very slight Gaussian blur very very low key and now I've done that I'm gonna add another motion blur I'm gonna do the same thing that I've just done to the, the dark green wing underneath so a Gaussian blur and then a motion blur and that right there is the base of how we do it and now it's kind of the visual effects that do the rest of the work for us I know you're probably looking and thinking this doesn't really look as cool as the ones that I've made before a lot of it comes down to the stylization so I'm now gonna select all of the wings and I'm gonna duplicate the wings. I'm gonna merge it as one big layer, I'm being confident there, but I'm trusting the process, you know, flip horizontally. All right, cool. So before we stylize the wings, let's stylize Gunner so we can start to imagine this whole piece coming together. How I do that is by duplicating Gunner. The first thing is oil painting him. So if you go filter, stylize, oil paint, and then copy these oil paint settings that I've got, you can see what this does. It goes from this to this, <laughs> right? Now, this is a little bit intense, so I'm gonna actually erase this effect from his face. We'll get his watch and his hands back. Anywhere where there's a lot of detail, you might not want this effect, but I would like it everywhere else, to be honest. We'll keep some of the Louis V pattern because it just really smooths the image off, you know? Super smooth. I'm gonna merge those layers together. All right, his hair here looks absolutely horrible, so I'm gonna have a quick go at fixing this with the pen tool. Nice. Now we need to do the lighting. So I'm going to get a big white brush and I'm going to left click onto Gunner's face, um, the watch, and that's probably the only places we want to make glow. And then I'm going to set it to overlay mode and I'm going to drop the opacity to a, a kind of a safe amount, maybe around here, 72%. Now what we want to do is add some of these the green lighting to Gunner. So I'm, I've selected the green from the wing and I'm on a clipping mask layer and I'm just going to start drawing some green onto the sides of Gunner. You know, it's important to make him look like he's actually in the scene. So once we've added that green, I'm going to add a white layer right on the outside, a very thin stroke. You'll notice if there's ever light behind someone, this is kind of where the light will show itself. going to set that white mode to overlay mode and now I'm just going to lower the opacity of the green slightly. I'm going to try something here it may or may not work but what I like to do is add a white stroke to inside the image as well so for example this part of his face could potentially have one and maybe this side over here as well. I'm going to add a motion blur and set it to go right and left like that and then I'm just gonna blur it slightly like that and then I think overlay mode 
So that looks quite cool. I think we could use another one of those on his arms. I feel like the green here doesn't really look like it's working, so I'm going to try a few different blend modes and see if any of them look better. I think the lighten looks a little bit nat more natural, but what I'm actually going to do is just erase some of it because it's just a little bit too unrealistic. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working just on one layer so that I can add lots of effects quite easily. So I'm not going to remove all of this in case you want to go back to it, but I'm going to select all layers, duplicate, and merge it into one big layer and then I'm going to add a layer underneath it and make that layer black. So here we go. I'm going to go onto Google Images and I'm going to type in green smoke. I'm going to go to tools and select large so that we get large images only. I really like this smoke right here. I want to see if I can do something with this. So we're just going to place it over our image and then we're going to go through the blend modes and see what we find. So to be honest, I think the coolest effect here is color dodge. You see how it's affecting the edges of the um, the wings. It's giving this really cool effect to the edge of the wings. I'm going to try and use that. So I'm going to position it on the wing somewhere where I think it's not too intense, like up there maybe. Um, I'm also going to allow the smoke to come over here onto Gunner just because, you know, the more VFX, the better. That might not be the case at all, but in this case, I would say the more VFX, the better. Um, I'm going to duplicate it. Edit, transform, flip horizontally. Probably didn't need to do that really because we're just positioning it in a random place, but um, I'm now gonna place it somewhere over here as well. You wanna try and avoid having the exact same smoke patterns to so say this part here. Don't have the exact same part showing there. Pick a different part of the smoke. I wanna see what fire looks like. Obviously we're gonna need to make the fire green, but I'm gonna just try and get a fire image off of Google Images and see if that's gonna add to the aesthetic in some way. So I found this image here, it was a free PNG online. I'm gonna zoom it up like that and I'm gonna go through the blend modes and see what I can find and then I'm also gonna try it in green, see if anything looks cool. It's made such a cool effect here on this color dodge on top of Gunner. I'm gonna have it like that and then I'm just gonna change the color of it and make it like, kind of greeny so he looks like he's literally made out of slime now you might notice it's made this part of the wing look a little bit extreme we probably don't want it to be that extreme so i'm just gonna erase that kind of and the same over this side now that i got this i think what we need to do is is change the lighting of gunner he looks like he's just outside in a completely normal place whereas obviously he's actually in the dark with green smoke all around him so maybe that means making his face a bit green i'm not sure yet i'm gonna try a few different effects so I think that is what I needed. I've just used lighten and I've put a green layer over the top and now I'm gonna adjust the lighting of the whole the whole image by using a by using the curves tool. The final thing I'm gonna do is once again I'm gonna select all of these layers, duplicate and merge, and duplicate one more time, and I'm gonna go and add another stylized oil paint layer like that, and then I'm just gonna erase certain parts. I might want some of the Louis V pattern still the watch, the hands, but it's made the wings look really sick. Um, I do want a little bit of these effects to show through, so I'm just gonna click in a few different places. Another simple effect that I've been doing to some of the stylized wings that you might have seen at the start of the video, is just a little RGB channel switch. So if you just duplicate your image, go to blending options, and then you see where the channels are. If you just take off one of them, I like taking off blue, um, you get this kind of yellow, yellow blue aesthetic and then using your arrow keys, just go to the left slightly. You'll see what that's done is it's it's just pulling the colors apart. So this is it normally, and then it starts to bleed and you start to get the yellow and the blue coming together. This is a very cool way to make your image look a little bit more colorful. I've just noticed that his hair here looks really messy. So I'm gonna quickly try and do something to fix that. Oh yeah, and there's one more effect that I've also been using. I don't know if it's going to work that well on this one, but I'm going to show you what it is nonetheless. Basically, instead of having really sharp edges on the edge of the character, I've been adding a slight blur so it just merges into the background. So how you do that is by going blur. Uh, wait, let me duplicate this first. Blur, motion blur. Just having it going left and right and then something kind of like that. And then you just start to erase the center part like that 
So there you go guys, this was kind of a super random tutorial, it was just me playing around with a bunch of effects that I personally like, but I mean, I think some of these outcomes are quite cool, and it's, you know, you can really just do this very quickly to any image if you just want to take an ordinary image and add this really interesting effect to it. If you have enjoyed this, then drop a like. And remember, you can go and download my stylized wing pack from griffingfx.com if you don't want to make them yourselves. Or maybe you have, but you aren't able to make them as excellently as Griffin GFX can. That's understandable, guys. I am the Photoshop god at the end of the day. Leave a comment down below with some video suggestions. If you have a specific aesthetic you want me to try and teach, I read like every single comment. You never know, I might pick your suggestion. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Thanks again for watching, and I'm out. Peace.